and then, yeah, I want to share it, and then, all right, peeps, we're here, it's Thursday, it's going to be 90 today, uh, I said, oh my gosh, I was going to wear jeans, and I said, oh my gosh, this is too, it's too hot, too, too hot, it's right, <laughs> so I'm like, forget this, um, all right, so where are we, um, what's everybody doing out there? I know. Hello. All right, so let me share all this. <laughs> so we get my favorite DJs in the house. Yay. So um, we'll talk about what you did last weekend and what you're doing this weekend and all that stuff, all the mm -hmm. same old stuff that we always talk about, all the fun stuff. Yeah, it's in Simi's um, next party. It's next weekend, too, next Friday. Oh, the 29th? Mm -hmm. I'll be in Boston. Oh, bummer. Yeah, so. Um, I'm going to pull up the Diva, and I'm going to pull up the No Strings Attached to Unis Online, because that's really what I want to talk about. Okay. Hmm. All right, what are you doing? I'm like, all kinds of stuff. All right, everybody, what's everybody doing? got cool last week with the with well two weeks ago was it two weeks ago with the um with the storms yeah, yeah. it was definitely yeah kind of like nice at a price <laughs> and it was a little little um cold and then all of a sudden now now it's back to 90. hello georgia <laughs> I know. This. You can do this in like two weeks. <laughs> I know. I'm, uh, I'm going to D.C. in a couple weeks to visit my son, which I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. So, let me see. We're gonna, we getting, doing our little sound check. We're doing this. This is the pre. Oh, this is what happens before. I know. This is B.S. <laughs> yeah, <Before show. laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. It's, B, it's BS. <laughs> now I am fighting some fall allergy things that set in a couple days ago, so I'm going to try not to be all like, <sighs> I know. My son was already, you know, they start school and all of a sudden, this, you know, they're all, they're sick. Everybody's sick. You know, sick. they get sick. And so he's, you know, I took him, I was like, I don't like it. I said, oh, let's go. Sinus infection, ear infection. Yeah. He's 13. So I was like, all right. You know, I mean, it's crazy. Mm. They get it. I'm like, please wash your hands in school. It's crazy. All the time. All the so time. Wash your hands everywhere. <laughs> I know. I know. Anywhere you can. So what is, um, okay, so who's tuned in? Let's see. So we can say hi. Um, hey, Daniel. How are you? Is that a Tom C? Who is that? I, I, I don't get to see. I don't see this. No, it says Daniel. Okay. Want to bring them on as a guest? Who? Um, I guess you have the ability to bring people on as a guest. Oh. Know? Well, we got one minute. Oh. Yeah, yeah no, we're not going to do that today. No. I'm not, yeah, it's too techy. Yeah, I know. You know, for now, like, you know, it's kind of crazy. I, I've never even tried it yet. I still have yet to do my first live video. I might do one this weekend, though, since I'm going to be doing the Swim Across America thing. There's going to be all kinds of Olympians. Oh, around. that would be fun. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I figured I was going to do it. Well, I, I need to get a new phone because I broke the camera lens on oh, my other God. phone, replaced it in time to trade it in for this one. <laughs> um, Perfect. Because Samsung had a trade-in thing. Right. And, um, I got this for like four something. No, but then you do spread it out or you just paid it up? Front. Oh, I spread it out. Yeah, I always, I like it. but it's an S8, you know, so right. it's got the dual front and back. And so right. All right, it'll, it'll, just make sure you can, you can hear. Can you yep. hear? I can hear that. Sponsored programs on this station are strictly those of the program hosts, guests, and callers that are not necessarily those of Beasley Broadcasting, the station, and staff, other advertisers, or agencies. This is the Just Steph Show. I'm your host, Steph Palermo, your Italian boss at your get move south shows you how to enjoy life oh, right gotcha. here on love 860 every thursday 11 a.m until noon tune in weekly for what tips on enhancing your life by balancing body, body mind and heart and featuring living atlanta find out where to go this weekend 
Hey, this is Steph Polaro, and it's the Just Steph Show. Everybody has two lives. The second one begins when you realize you only have one. We are second lifers. We're empty nesters, newly single, and those starting over. Age three, you're healthy, happy, hip years are just beginning. The back phone is connected, so give me a buzz to chat today, 404-355-8699. Tell me what's going on in your life. I want to hear from you. Of course, we're live on Facebook and on Instagram, so you can post your, uh, your comments there, and I'll try to get to them. And my friend... DJ Vanessa Hunley's in the house. I am here. What's up? Here we go. I right, gotta rock out a little in deep with this. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Last night a DJ saved my life. Who doesn't love great music, right? Oh, yes, exactly. And there's so much of it to play. I know. So much out there. I know. I think it, it don't you think it on, it affects my mood. I always, you know, I it helps me. To feel better, if I'm feeling really good, I play some really fun, upbeat music. Music's just, uh, music's great. Yeah, music is an all-encompassing factor. It's you therapeutic. Know, it's, yes, uh, it can be therapeutic, it can be encouraging, maybe a little depressing sometimes. Yeah, it could be a downer. Yeah, but who doesn't need a good cry? I know, like um, Charlie Puth, you're just a phone call away and oh. stuff. I'm like, oh, God, let's oh, change this. Right. Yeah, it's too depressing. Aw. So, yeah. That's <laughs> sweet. Well, we've got a great show coming up. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Yes. And uh, we're going to find out what you have going on because, I mean, you're all over Atlanta and more. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, and beyond. Uh, this day. year just keeps growing and growing and you're growing. Like Buzz, and... Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Infinity and beyond. Oh, can I please have the jetpack? I know, really? <laughs> really? I know, well. you're like, beam me up, Scotty. There's no intelligent life down here. I, <laughs> yeah. you, get, you want to be, uh, you want to have a uh, bilocation. Right. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, so we're going to... What did you do this weekend? Oh, gosh, what was last weekend? Um, okay, so Saturday, I actually went to Lexington, South Carolina with one of my agents, which is Corporate Events Unlimited. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of their corporate events for them and did the Michelin Corporate Family Carnival. Nice. Um, so, that I actually, actually did that for the last two Saturdays. Right. So, it was a lot of back and forth. Right. Um, and then Sunday was at G's Midtown. Right. And then it was pretty much just kind of rest. Oh, Monday I had my show, the, the latest right. episode of the Audio Prism show. Right. And had a really great musical guest on there. Fun. And, um, Who was that? That was Jazzy Lee, a.k.a. Nice. Jimmy Hubbard. He uh, plays piano, and he's a composer, and he's an actor. Because, you know, in this business, once you get started doing one thing, you know, there's a lot of times you can get pulled off into different directions. Right. And next thing you know, you've got a whole string of credits behind your name. Fun. Uh, so he came on and did a live interview, and we played some clips of him playing the piano. Nice. Which, of course, made me so jealous because the piano was one instrument that I was ne definitely never going to master. I have a very right. lazy left hand. It's uh, like, uh, chopsticks. Funny. Not chopsticks. Yeah, <laughs> funny. Uh, Jessica Williams, she got engaged. Yes. How exciting. Jessica, it's all good, Williams. Yes. You know, you got to make sure we call her by her proper comedy name. Right. Uh, but yes, her and her man. And he nice. did it with flair, I will say. Yeah, nice. Uh, they were at the Earl Smith Strand Theater and actually had the marquee said, will you marry me, Jessica? So it was so sweet to see. I think that pictures. rivals Rusty. Oh, yeah. Rusty did really good with his, yes. too. Oh, that was fun. You know, that was fun. We were all there. But uh, that that's exciting. Well, you know, let me just, we have to get to the football lineup. Yes. Because oh, yes. It uh, this, it's football season, and the girls need to know when their guys are going to be watching football. Mm. So, okay, so now Saturday morning, of course, we have our, we start with our college ball. Kent State is at Louisville. That's for my friend Paul Oliva. And at 1220, uh, Pittsburgh is at Georgia Tech. Alabama is at Vanderbilt at 3.30. BC is at Clemson, which is fun. The, the, the uh, Boston boys come south. Um, that's at 3.30. Uh, and Rutgers is at Nebraska at 3.30. And uh, Georgia State is at Charlotte. But the big game this weekend, as far as my family is concerned, is Mississippi State is at Georgia. My son... Mikey is at Mississippi State, and my son Richie graduated from Georgia. Ooh. They're all coming into town, and their dad is taking them up for the for the game. They're all going in a big limo and stuff and having fun. Yeah, you could get so. one of those shirts where it's like one team on half, and right. the other team on the house other. divided, right? Yes, exactly. So, well, my other son went to Alabama, oh. so that's kind. Of, it's been he, crazy. He can have the hat. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so it, it's it's crazy. But for NFL tonight is um, L. A. is at San Francisco. The uh, Falcons are at Detroit at 1 o'clock 
on Sunday, and Houston is at New England at 1 o'clock as well, so I'll be um, divided there. I, I haven't decided if I was going to go to Huey Louie's and watch the Falcons with my Brady shirt on. But I'm bad. And then, of course, Monday night, Dallas is at Arizona. So that's a lot of fun. So all that football is going on this, uh, you know. And so th last weekend, uh, foosball. My guy came in from Boston. So we had, uh, we went out Saturday night. We went to oh. Hal's and we went to Whiskey Mistress. And we had so much fun at Whiskey Mistress. A little... Um, Dancing and you know and all of that and we headed over to Monty's late night. Have you been to Monty's? Not yet. I you know everybody's always like, where are you going? You're off. I'm like, by the time I get up, most of the time I'm just like curled up in bed going like, uh. Oh, well, you okay. do the vamp vampire hours sometimes. You know, a lot of times. I do a lot. You know? yeah. But if you're gonna go with a crowd, it's gonna be it's late night, three a.m. <laughs> yeah, but you know, a lot of times just because I'm done working doesn't mean I'm done working. Because there's a lot of breaking down of equipment sometimes. Right. You know, so people. We're like, oh, we're leaving at 2.45. I'm like, I'll see you maybe at 3.30 if I can catch up. But right. Atlanta's not, you know, the 24-hour city it used to be. So right. there's there's a dearth of uh, late, late, late night entertainment for the rest of us. Right, you know? right. Yeah, it's it, that's pretty late. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I want to talk a little bit about um, life coaching and career coaching versus therapy. And I'm going to tell you why I, I want to do this. Yes. Last week, and it was actually before my show last week, but I didn't have time to squeeze it in, there was a post on Facebook from a career coach that it posted a, a conversation, he posted a conversation between him and a potential client, and the questions he asked, so, the, um, so he basically was saying, should I receive this, thing? should I deal with this client, should I take him, this guy on a, as a client, and... Um, so this is the questions he asked this man. What do you want to achieve in the next year by hiring a coach? And the answers were, give up smoking pot, get a job, create personal goals. Tell us, and then so he says, well, tell us about yourself. And he says, you know, he's a male, 25, living with his mom and younger brother, dropped out of college, and doesn't enjoy working at anything for too long. Mm. So my response was, this guy needs a therapist. He doesn't need a career coach. He needs a therapist. I mean, he may need a career coach coming down the road. And there was like some na nasty, like people were not nice to me because I said he needed a therapist. And they were Aww. like, well, who do you think you are? And what? Da, 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 da. I go, you know what? If this guy, if, if a career coach tells a guy like this who, who is down in the dumps to do a bunch of stuff and he doesn't get it done, He's going to feel like a failure, mm. and he's going to continue on that path of self-destruction. So, why not get it? Why not send? You know, say you know, let just give it a try. Give the therapy a try. Do something. Go go see a therapist. And so I so I wanted to dig around a little bit because I thought you know there's really a difference between therapy and life coaching. Yeah. So th I this are. is just a few things. Um, Coaching is an educational discovery-based process of human potential. Therapy is based on the medical model that says people have psychiatric maladies that need to be repaired. Have you ever done one or both of these? Yes. Okay, good. I figured you probably at least probably did that. Oh, I've been in therapies part. for like 17 years. Oh, good. Same well, <laughs> I'm, you know, and I and the funny thing is is, you know, I just went this past Monday and I and you know, you get to a place where it's almost like if you're that evolved, like, I speak to my therapist, it's almost like we're on a professional level mm -hmm. in terms of, like, um, where he's at, you know, because I've done so much work on myself, and he, you know, and so it's, it's basically, it's continued self-discovery, but for me, I feel like I've had failed relationships, mm -hmm. and my biggest goal for therapy is that my relationships remain healthy. And that's an excellent. And I want healthy relationships. I probably I I don't need to go. I had a series of terrible relationships, and and so having some therapy definitely helped me. And you know, it helps you become more self aware. You know, where a career coach, I I kind of feel like puts you on a path to help you develop yourself professionally. But you won't flourish professionally if you aren't together personally. Absolutely, you will sabotage yourself along the way. Absolutely, you know one one of my kids um, had you know a few issues in college and stuff, and he came home and I said, "Don't worry about college. You're not 
you get your head on straight. You'll you'll graduate. Don't worry about it. And he's you know he's like, Mom, you're the only one that's ever said that to me. I said, Well, you're not going to do good in school if you're not if your head's not on straight. Why bother? Get your head on straight. Get your life together, and then go back to school. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not going to work. And so, and he did just that. He's doing great. Yeah. You know, he's you know, and it's 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 wonderful to see. But I think that. You, you know, some of that stuff, you have to take care of your heart and your, you know, where your head is before you can even think about, you know, moving forward. Mm -hmm. Now, there are a lot of messed up pe people who are very successful. Yes. Yes, there are. There are very high-functioning alcoholics mm -hmm. that are in high-powered positions. There's also high-functioning depressed people. Oh, yes. By and far. I was one of them for years. Yeah, <laughs> you just do what you got to do no matter how yeah, depressed you are. Because you have, it depends on your sense of, um, you know, I, I don't want to say obligation, responsibility, right. I guess, and how, oh, yeah. you know, you're, how committed you are to seeing your responsibilities through. You know, there's a lot of times that you can be in a really terrible place mentally but those things that you have to do get you up and keep you moving and get you up and keep you moving. And if you allow yourself to heal or find some therapy along the way as well, not only are you moving forward, but you're also able to, uh, you know, become, take, take that progress and do something more with it later on down the road. You know, there's a lot of times when they, you know, they always say, you know, when, when you're walking through the fire, just keep walking. And right. You keep walking. Right. Because if you sit down, you're going to burn yourself alive. Right. But you Absolutely. will walk out of it eventually. Right. Abs I mean, I agree. Sometimes it's fake it till you make it. Mm hmm You know, <laughs> and you have to do it because there's an obligation there. I mean, that doesn't mean you can't take a minute to, you know, have a pity party. No, no. You get five minutes to cry, and then you got to move on. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. There My friend go. that rides horses, uh, she posted that one day a thing from their stables where it literally was just like, look, you can scream, stomp, rant, whatever you got to do. After five minutes, you're done. Get back on the horse and ride. <laughs> right. There you go. Yes. You know, you get, you get, you get, you're acknowledging the, the emotions mm -hmm. and that they're valid. Yes. And how you feel is valid. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do your job. But wallowing so, in them is not going to get you any further. No, absolutely. So I, this is one thing that I thought was interesting. It says, coaching focuses on self-exploration, self-knowledge, professional development, performance enhancement, and better self-management. Therapy seeks to heal emotional wounds. Mm. So, uh, you know, I think that, you know, I did, I've done both. I've done both simultaneously, mm. you know, where I've had some executive coaching and I was still in therapy, you know. But they didn't conflict no you know they don't they shouldn't and if they do there's a problem either dump one or the other you know whatever you you know they should you, you should know they one should know what the other says and all that stuff and you should really know your limits but I think it's a lot it depends on where you're at if you're so bad you really shouldn't be with a, a career coach mm -mm. if you're that bad yeah um, but if you're just trying to deal with say situational oh yeah issues yeah, I think that's not know. a problem job change or an on-the-job issue or maybe you just feel stuck and you're like how do I get to the next level which is one of those really overused phrases in business is you know take it to the next level right but it's really true there it always is a next level and there's right. always a next level as long as you're growing and becoming more or even do you do you make a change do yes. you make a career change yes. you know especially as a second lifer mm -hmm. a lot of us are saying I mean just like you're doing your voiceover, mm -hmm. you know, and that was a little bit of an offshoot of your, D, you know, yeah. doing your DJ and your, you know, events. You know, at, at 40 and 50 years old, you say, okay, am I doing what I love right now? Mm. Do I really love this? So maybe seeking out a coach to have some of those assessments and take, you know, where your, your, your strong points are and all of that, your strengths, then that is the way to go. If you're dealing with emotional hardship troubled relationships addiction yes and uh, you're not able to function normally you don't you you isolate mm. these are signs that you need a therapist yes. not a coach right that's what i that's my opinion and i'm just steph <laughs> <laughs> so and we all have different opinions of yeah, course. I, I, Absolutely, but you know, I done I did a little bit of reading on when you need a therapist, mm -hmm. and you know, and so that was those were prompt like an addiction, 
any kind of addiction. Any kind. Food, sex, drugs, alcohol, you know, Smartphone. IT, whatever it is, you know, whatever you're doing. Yeah. So, you know, gaming. Uh, I think that's the kids. They're all addicts. Anyway. Uh, there, are, there are some 30 and 40 year olds that are pretty well addicted to <laughs> at this point. But, you know, that those video game era started back in the 80s, you know, and so that a lot of those people are, you know. I had Pong in oh, the 70s. Yes, I know. On the TV. Like, that oh. was crazy. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, those little, that little joystick. Thing. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so we're going to uh, get into, we're gonna, we're gonna, let's talk a little bit about dating and relationships. So we want to we want to talk about 14 qualities that she has that will make you, you should never let her go. And this is Dating Advice for Second Lifers and the Just Jeff Rules of Dating. Dear future husband, here's a few things you need to know it. All right, so, you know, I know this, this is sort of geared towards the qualities that women have, but I think you can, it can apply to men as well. I think, I mean, there's certain, there's certain attributes to the, the, the feminine genius yes. that will, you'll never find in, in a heterosexual male. You know, if you're in that kind of a relationship, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, this is what, in, and these are things that a woman would have that you won't, won't let her go. However, I do believe that you need to look at some of these things for men. Yes. You know, I, I think it's important. So one of them is she's smarter than you. You know what? When you know that and you can admit it. And you're okay with it. And you're okay with it. Yes. You're the you're the man for me. Right, you're going to be the winner, you right? Know, too over it. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what? I, what I see in this is surround yourself with people who aspire to do great things. Yes. And then they will, they'll never bring you down. They'll always encourage you to do good things. So if you're around smarter people, um, maybe um, success, some successful people, people that have great uh, qualities in terms of not talking about other people or, you know, whatever good qualities that mm. you can think of, you want to surround yourself with those people. They are, you know, in, in that they're encouraging, they have big hearts, they're kind, because it helps you to aspire to that. Yes, and by and far. And, and you know, the more you're around people that lift you up, the more you can lift other people up. Absolutely. And it becomes like a pay-it-forward kind of scenario. Right, well, and you're not spending energy trying to get out of that negative oh, yeah. vibe. Yes. That's energy. If you have more energy for yourself, you can give more. Yes. So, you know, and I think a man who can admit that, because men can, you know, they're very strong, and I think women, too, can mm -hmm. be this way, very prideful in yes. that they can't admit. Women are harder on women than they are on men, because oh, women, yes. women who are not okay in their own skin can't tell another woman that they think they're beautiful. No, you're absolutely right. They are, they they tend to put themselves first. Right, they're jealous. There's a little jealousy there. Jealousy. Like you know, it's 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 unfortunate. Yes. But I think that if you can admit that somebody has these better, it, 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 it comes down to knowing yourself. Mm -hmm. If you know yourself and you're okay in your own skin and you stay in your lane, then you're okay with everybody else in their qualities. And knowing that somebody is so smart, or is bright, or is kind or whatever successful or whatever you you can be, you can do what you you do best i can tell you right now i don't have patience i'm not good at, i'm not good i don't have that gift at all i'm probably too patient <laughs> I, I don't have patience no I'm awful. no so and then another one she's honest so i think that goes across the board with everybody yes yes and yes and positive they're positive and i think um i think women need to be I, there's definitely men men need to have a positive outlook and they that's not but i think the women sort of is the they're the heart yes and, and we go through a lot of pressure and i really am happy with the newer movement of how people have come through with like body positivity and mental positivity right. and how we're starting to see more real people you know quote unquote real looking people in the media, you know, not just the ones that have been just polished and shined, you know, to their right. wit's end. Uh, because, you know, a lot of the media 
you know, through the 70s, 80s, you know, even going into the mid to late 90s, everything, you, you know, you could only be a certain thing. I mean, you were plus size if you were a size, you know, of six or eight, you know, and that was just an incredibly um, crazy thing. You right. know, you, you couldn't be too dark. You couldn't be too white. You couldn't be, you know, too anything, really. You had to kind of look a certain way or be a certain way or... Uh, you know, tattoos didn't used to be acceptable. Right. right. Hair wasn't acceptable. And now right. there's just so much more freedom of In self. Individuality. And individuality. <laughs> yes. That's right. I'm coming out, baby. Yes. I got to, I got to know. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I like that. Be, and I see that in a lot of times even in fashion. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, whatever whatever you wear goes, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's kind of fun, too. So um, I, I like that. Uh, and, okay, so number four says yes. she compromises. Yes. You know, but I think everybody has to compromise. Well, uh, you know what? Here's what I think. I don't really, I think compromising means you have to give something up. I think melding is a better word. Like okay. when you meld worlds. Yes. You know, um, and, you know, I think, so if I have a wedding to go to and you're with me, we're melding that world. I'm sorry that you don't know everybody, but... You know, that's part of melding the worlds, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, if you've got a family, you know, a lot of times, especially now, at this age, we have a lot of blended families, so, you know, you know, there's, it's the Brady Bunch. Yes. I mean, it's totally the Brady, you know, it, that's what's happening. There's the Brady, Brady, Brady Bunch just right. sometimes. Right, yeah, <laughs> so, you know, you've got to, you've got to learn to meld, and, and, and I think having some like-mindedness helps. She laughs at your jokes. I think mm -hmm. laughing is crucial. Yes. By and far. It's totally crucial. You have to, she has an open heart. I think being open is, is an, an open heart. I think women who don't have open hearts is a problem. Mm. I think it's a problem. I mean, you know, anybody who taps into their feminine genius, that means, okay, and I'm going to say this, when we've had children and those of us who are, you know, don't have children, but you can sort of see it because it's built into your femininity. You know, you have an open heart. You know, it's in and, and a lot of times we have to overcome some of the pain that we've lived through to have an open heart. Mm. Yeah, well, life will definitely, definitely at times try to make it so you want to close yourself off and not put yourself out there. And, um, you know, I've, I've alluded before on the show that, you know, I went through a lot of traumatic stuff in my childhood. Right. and. I mean, literally, when I was a teenager, I didn't like people. <laughs> so right. to be in such a people-oriented business, you know, it's sometimes funny when I, when I'm contacted from people from back then, and they're like, "Wow, I never imagined you were going to be, you know, a DJ." And I was like, right. "No, me neither. <laughs> I never saw that one coming." And I would there. never think that of you. Mm -mm, yeah. You know, so that's so that's a lot of evolution stuff helped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it's evolution, and yes. it's a, sometimes it's a school of hard knocks. Yes. Oh, yes. You know, you're going to get more. Yes, right. I will survive. Exactly. You know, I, I just think, you know, you're going to get more with honey than you will with vinegar. Mm. So you have to learn to accept yourself and accept people. So that's definitely um, a big deal. But here's a nice one that I, I, I think is a very important. She supports your goals and pursues her own. I think that's where it comes with that individuality. You have to have your, yes. be your own person. You can't be... Because I think a lot of us did that when we were very young, especially at this age when we got married in our early 20s, and it just you just sort of morph into the other person or something. So. I, I heard that a lot. I skipped the whole marriage thing. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just like, I was like, oh, and I just felt like I lost myself. And I'm like, oh, that's always been me. So, you know, it's yeah. just, uh, I, I kind of went the other route. But I can I completely see how that would happen. I mean, just day in, day out, you get right. in structure. Next thing you know, you have a couple kids, and... You know, I mean, just having one daughter, I can't imagine having had two or three kids and shuffling them off. And you do kind of lose yourself when every day becomes a string of logistics. Right. And there's just not, you know, inspiration coming through. Or Absolutely. And we're humans. We thrive on change. We do, even though a lot of people are very resistant to change. But there's a lot of ways to introduce small, healthy change into your life. Right. I, th I definitely need to shake it up a little. <laughs> there's no doubt. No doubt. Uh, she has a good relationship with her parents. I think looking at the family of origin is key. You know? Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. But it doesn't always have to be the end-all, be-all. No. Because I'm Sometimes telling Sometimes you can have good relationships despite your parents. <laughs> no, absolutely. No, I agree yeah. with you. I just think when it comes to women, if they are align themselves with men whose father mistreated the mom, 
sometimes it's, it's very, it, that's what I'm talking about, oh, because yes. that's what they'll do. Yeah, I, I picked relationships early on, because my dad is not, oh, he, had, um, he had a lot of mental issues, he mm -hmm. had multiple sclerosis, and oh, I'm sorry. Um, wasn't consistently well treated for it, but right. um, it, you know, became issues, and we had a lot of fractious stuff that happened, and so early on, you know, I, I was very textbook. You know, right. I somehow managed to find guys that were like my dad in a crowded right. room, and, and I literally took a break from dating for several right. years because I said, you know, it doesn't matter what the frog looks like, I keep finding the frog. Right. And so I just didn't look for a while and said, what right. am I willing to, you know, I, then I had to look at myself and say, what do I want? What right. am I willing to you know, put up with, you know, what do I really, what's important to me. Right. And once I had those guidelines, then I ended up finding that guy, you know, and he's Bingo. not a frog, he's great. And I think once you change that thinking, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll get back what you, you know, you'll attract what you're putting out. You always deserve more than you think. Absolutely. I agree with that. And uh, just a couple more. She's kind. Mm -hmm. She remains calm and fights and calms you down, too. I don't know if that's good for Sicilians. <laughs> um, she does foolish things with you. Uh, she has a life of her own. We sort of talked about that. She accepts your flaws. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got something. Who's got dimples on their legs and whatnot. It all is true. We're all not perfect. So, even Perfect though some of us think... imperfection. Well, I think, well, when I say that, I actually, Don Miguel Ruiz says we're all perfect. And he writes uh, the four mm -hmm. agreements. And we're perfect as we are. Mm -hmm. And though, okay. you know, it, yes. just as we are. So, um, and that took me a long time, um, you know, dealing with Poland syndrome and all of that mm -hmm. to realize that I'm, I'm good just the way that I am. Yes. It takes a lot. And now the last one is she doesn't bear grudges. I mean, who holds grudges except for Sicilians anyway? It's too much energy. I know. It is. It is, <laughs> it is too it much is, energy. It's a lot of energy. Like, I know. Wait, I don't like that person. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, oh, yeah, who cares? I know. That was so cares. five minutes yeah. ago. Five, I know. You know, five no weeks kidding. ago. I'm I won't forget, but I will forgive after, you know, sometime. Yeah, it's just. Or yeah. at least. Oh, well, I think if you have to forgive somebody, it's. It, it's you. It it's has for a hold, yourself. Well, it has a hold on you. Mm hmm. Yes. So, because they don't care. No, but sometimes you can forgive them for yourself, and that's a healthy. Yeah, but no, I'm saying yeah. they're not hurt by your being mad at them. Oh no, you, know, no, you can no, be no. mad at what whoever. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all right. So take a risk, be vulnerable, share your heart, and love always. We're gonna take a short break. When we come back, more Vanessa Hunley, and this one is for the birthday peeps: Jillian Painter, Scotty K, Mary McCarthy, Raymond, and Sammy Jimenez from Hal's. Happy birthday, Sammy! Happy birthday! Yay! All right, kids. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go up here and see because I can't see on my computer who all is here. Yep. We got double cakes back. Hi, Nikki Asaro. Hi, Brian. Let's see. Hi, George West. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Matt. Hi, Maria. Hi, Jill. Hi, Todd. Hi, Joy. How's I, I love Final Groove. I want to come home. Hi, ciao, Franco, come sta? Hi, Jackie, how are you? Hi, Michael Reed, hi, Jeffrey. Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? And Daniel, hi, Katie, hi, Steve, and Vanessa's live with me, too. Yay, okay, all right. Let's see, who's this? Todd Garris, Double Cakes by Chris, and Michael Easty. Michael D. Easty. Are you from East Boston? Okay. I adore that. All right. Bostonites tuning in. Yay. Oh, yeah. I love them. I love my peeps. This is a good song, huh? Oh, I love Domino. Jesse J is one of my favorite uh, songwriters and singers. Fun. Um, bang Bang when that she did with Ariana and Nicki Minaj is really fun, too. I love that song. Um, I know it. I probably know it. You probably know it if you heard it. Yeah, I'm yeah, bad. Yeah, I know. It's one of those, you know. I can, talk, I can talk about, yeah, I know. I can talk about what happened on um, the Brady Bunch back in 1975, but don't ask me, like, who's president today. Adam. No, no. I'm awful. Wait, what? Huh? I'm awful. Wait. I love TV trivia from, from the old days. Oh, I guess. Yeah. I can't do trivia. Like, do, you don't want me on your tri trivia team for, like, current events. It's bad. Oh, no, not for current events. I, I, uh, I, you know what? I actually uh, filter news now. I only read 
about five to ten minutes of news articles like every other day or so. Right. Uh, it's just too stressful. There's you oh, know, it's depressing. Yes, and there's too many, you know, all I need are the highlights, what's going on, the world's not going to blow up great, you know, right. and, and I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Follow it more intensely if I need it for the weather or something right. like that. Um, but overall, I just... You could you could sit there for hours and do nothing but just stress yourself out. Why go to why get out of bed? That's what I think. Like if I listen to that stuff, mm -hmm. there's no, we got one minute. Yep. We're going back. But why why you know it's like if you watch all that stuff, it's so depressing. Yes. And so I I don't like the news at all. I'm trying to put positive. I don't watch TV anyway. Use, me neither. <laughs> I watch no TV. I just got an expanded. Uh, package from these really nice Xfinity girls that, you know, that were, that cost me, were like, hey, we can do better for your pay. I said, sweet. And she's like, what channels do you want? I'm like, I don't really watch TV. Oh my gosh. I know. But you know what they have is they have something called Stream Picks, um, where, well, we got a deal where you get Netflix, Hulu, and some other streaming thing included with our cable service for oh. free for two years. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because I pay for those. Yeah. Like 11 bucks a month or something for Hulu. Uh, it's like, I know it's at least 20 to 25 a month because it's like $10 for Netflix and $10 for Hulu. Yeah. Crazy. All right. We're back with DJ Vanessa Hunley. What hey. are, you've got so much going on. My goodness. What do you, you're working on a lot of charity stuff and, and just tell us what's happening. Okay, so, um, well, we'll talk about the immediate things that are coming up. Yes. Obviously, I'm here today. Uh, tonight, I'll be at G G's Midtown for my Thursday night karaoke show. Um, this weekend, however, is Swim Across America, the open water swim for Atlanta. And Swim Across America is a national movement. Um, they do open water swims all across the country to raise money for cancer research uh, for children and adults. Um, so I know uh, a lot of the funding from this weekend's Open Water Swim goes to benefit Children's Health Care of Atlanta, and then there's a couple of other um, their, uh, charities that they include in that. Right. And uh, we originally had it at Lake Spivey. We just moved it to Lake Lanier last year because it got so big that we had to have a larger location. And um, so this will be my fourth year DJing for that event. Fun. Um, we, I don't know how many we have this year, but last year I think we had nine Olympian swimmers that came out. Nice. Oh yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, and I think you could still get in on, you know, the tail end of it. If you want to be part of it, just look up uh, Swim Across America Open Water Swim and uh, 2017, and it'll take you to the Open Water Swim page for uh, Swim Across America. Um, so that's one of the things. Um, I Also, we have the uh, official date for the Toys for Tots Jingle Mingle. I saw that. 200. That's going to be December 19th this year. At the West End. At the West End. In Buckhead. Buckhead. I know. We're going back to Buckhead. Yay. Uh, we started out in Buckhead for the first several years. This will be my 14th year DJing for that event. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. That is a long time, girl. I've been doing this event almost as long as I've been a DJ. They found me in a little bar 14 years ago, um, the line at 285, which is where I was at. Oh, and that's right by my house. Yes, yeah. That is so funny. That is, yeah. I, mean, I don't it's think it's there anymore. No, they closed there. back in 2008, I want to say. Right. Uh, you know, during the, the whole economic thing. Right. And, um, you know, a lot of things went down. Uh, so, of course, we have that um, next Friday, not charity-related, but still super fun. I'll be at Lay Meridian again with uh, Simi's Monthly Soiree. Oh, Simi. Yes. And, of course, it's wedding season, so I've got, you know, weddings and engagement right. parties. Um, I'm also on the board of the No Strings Attached E-News Online Film Festival, and we actually just extended our submission dates till um, the end of October because we had a few directors that reached out to us and said, hey, you know, I've got an almost finished project. You know, it would, you know, how are you, you know, structuring this maybe possibly? And you right. know, I said, you know what, it's, you know, it's our first year doing it. Um, but we've had a really, really incredible um, variety of submissions because we have 13 different categories. So we've got some horror movies, we've got some love movies, we have some web TV series. And our long film winners and web TV uh, series winners will get um, a distribution deal with Shami Media. Nice. And then the short film winners, we arranged for a screening of all the short film winners at the Savannah Comedy Review in Savannah, Georgia. 
So uh, wow. we've got a really great platform. They get international exposure. Um, we have a couple of great sponsors, including Warrior Vodka, and, um, and a portion. Vodka's always good. I was going to say. Now, they are a nonprofit vodka company, so oh. a great deal of their proceeds go towards uh, helping veterans and helping active uh, military members. Oh, I love that. Yes. And then we also have uh, the Armed Forces Chamber of Commerce as a sponsor. Oh, nice. And they help with uh, veterans setting up businesses. And we also have uh, Cheers to the Warriors is our nonprofit that we are donating money to. So a portion of all the entry fees and the sponsorship fees also go to Cheers to the Warriors. Yay. Yay! There we go. Yay. We go with that. See, and I told you she saves. She saves lives. I DJ do. saves lives. <laughs> they save lives. We absolutely can. You know. Absolutely. And and share all those positive feelings and stuff. I know. He's he's so on it. I love it. Yeah. Um. So that's that's you know, part of it. Um. Also, I'm at Metro Cafe Diner. I'm usually there personally on Wednesday nights, but we have a great crew of people running karaoke and uh, dance tunes in between our karaoke Where is that singers. Located? Now, that's right at the corner of Andrew Young International and Peachtree Street in downtown Atlanta. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> right around the corner from Centennial Olympic Park and, you know, Hard Rock Cafe, and there's tons of hotels. And that could be a fun karaoke night, huh? Oh, it is a really fun karaoke night. Um, and we get people from all over the world. Because right. Because they really cater to the convention crowd. Right. And, of course, we have some very colorful locals that come in to, <laughs> to show off their stuff as well. So, <laughs> colorful local, please do come in. Yes. And, uh, Absolutely. We, Jessica, it's all good. Williams is there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh, she does a karaoke little... hostess. Oh, so they yeah. do karaoke every night? They do seven nights a week. Seven nights oh, a week. I you love karaoke. Down. Exactly. From 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. You can go in there and sing and dance and party. They've got some great bartenders. And, of course, the diner itself, because it's Metro Cafe Diner, um, is open 24-7. So even when we're done with karaoke, you know, I was telling people, hey, you know, you can always <clears throat> grab yourself another drink or two and then go upstairs and drink it. Because, you know, right. once we stop serving in Atlanta, we stop serving. That's right. it. We're done. Right. And uh, so it's a really, really vibrant atmosphere. Uh, we've been, I just started doing that back in March. So I just kind of put different personalities and talent in there. We've got a really good core group. Like I said, we've got Jessica, it's all good Williams, um, DJ JJ, uh, who's um, <coughs> my man. And, there you go. <laughs> and uh, we also, uh, Rob Constantine is there on Sunday and Monday. And then we um, are bringing on a new gentleman, a DJ Drew, and he'll be on for the weekends coming up shortly. And then, of course, we have some other personalities because we're all performers. We right. all have different goals and aspirations. Jessica's got comedy. I've got, you know, the DJ and the voiceover. And then, you know, we've got actors on the field and you know, DJs that do not just karaoke, but like, you know, I do everything. So, you know, I've got not just Swim Across America this weekend, but also have a wedding Saturday evening. Right. And then Sunday I'll be back at G's Midtown again. Uh, so, you know, you can pretty much go anywhere and do all these different things with it. And, uh, you know, of course, one of my big goals is, you know, sharing music, of course. And then also the giving back portion. I really, really do enjoy that. Right. Um, being able to use music in ways that helps create an atmosphere and ambiance to make an event successful and especially those you know nonprofit type of events but absolutely yeah. so how can uh, one find you well <laughs> the options are endless uh, my personal website which has links to everything that I've talked about uh, is www.audioprism that's a u d i o p r i s m e n t Dot com and the ENT is short for entertainment. Um, so again, audioprisment.com. And then uh, there's, you know, um, on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, you'll find me at DJ Audio Prism. Right. I, I have not yet added Snapchat because honestly, I'm trying to juggle all the social media I have now because you're at LinkedIn. You can right. find me under there under Vanessa Hundley. That's H U N as in nurse, D as in deer, L E Y. I have right. to spell that out, you know, so you don't get... Right. You know, the, so I don't think it's hungry. Yeah, I know, it's right. Yeah, it's hungry. 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 That's, that's hilarious. You know, I'm doing Snapchat my, because I snap, I have um, streaks with my nieces and nephews 
in Boston and Arizona because uh, we just started that. And it keeps me young. Yes, so absolutely. So I'm, like, taking pictures of my toes and stuff. The kids are, like, they'll send me crazy stuff with their friends at the locker. Oh, you know, at school. Streaks. See, you that's know. fun. Yeah, will, it is fun. I will get around to adding it. I just promised myself I wasn't going to add any more until I had all the other ones under control. Because right. it's a lot to manage. Well, sometimes. I don't do it for the job, for the work part. Like, all my other stuff is work. Oh, yeah, But yeah, the yeah. Snapchat is just for fun. Because, okay, got because it. Because I, I could never handle it. No. I don't even know how to do it. I'm like, I'm asking the kids, how'd you do that? <laughs> you know, because, you know, I get, they get their little bitmoji dancing around. I go, how's that happen? How'd you do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? <laughs> so it's crazy. So, I, But I love it. I, I think it's fun. And you know what's so funny? That you brought up two things that I'm sort of... This sort of, I'm sort of happy. Next week when I go to Boston, I'm actually participating with um, with uh, Next On Scene magazine mm. uh, and my good friend Jackie Zuckerman, who is uh, putting on uh, the first her first uh, bridal expo. Oh, and I'm going to be doing the red carpet interviews up there. Nice. So I'll be there, and I'm have a little table with my books and stuff like that. Yeah. So because mm -hmm. the only way is up, and you know you might as well be thinking that way when you get married because. Mm -hmm. Other way, you know, you want to be happy, you know, you, so there's lots of stuff about getting comfortable in your own skin, but there's going to be a lot of great vendors and, and people there. So that's going to be exciting, and I'm going to be, going to be interviewing the uh, vendors and hopefully the guests and finding out where everybody's from and what they do. And, and with, I'm going to be live streaming on Facebook, but I think we're also going to be um, videotaping that for... Um, you know, future promos. It's all about the replay. That's right. Ooh. And, right. I just, speaking of interviews, I, I totally forgot to mention, um, I actually got interviewed for Voyage ATL magazine. Nice. Um, yeah, so me and my company, and it talks a lot about, you know, a little bit how I got started and everything. I know, I'm so excited. So that's a really great online magazine. And there's a link to that on the About Me page on my website. Great. I love it. Yes. And I, the other thing I'm doing is uh, I, I am introducing a rare disease, Boston's, at Boston's first rare disease film festival, I'm actually introducing and sort of emceeing, you know, and segueing into one of the films uh, next week. Now, when you say rare disease film festival, are the, do all the directors have a rare disease or producers or organizers or is it the movies? They're, or... movie, they're movies about rare diseases and okay. they're not... And, you know, I don't, I'm not even sure. I've looked through the list of, of you know, the names of the movies, and uh, and it doesn't look like there's anything on Poland syndrome per se. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of rare diseases out there that, first of all, not even doctors know about. Right. Where people are actually really sick. I mean, they're sick every day, and they go to doctors, and doctors don't know what to do with them. And so... The awareness for rare diseases is very, it's, it's imperative. Why they call it the practice you know, of medicine. And, and there's no money in research because only one in 100,000 or one in, you know, 200,000 have the, you know, so there's very little money there. So when these little events that come up, uh, Rare Disease Day, which is the uh, February 28th, mm -hmm. uh, things like that, I, I really want to support them because I'm, my heart goes out to people. I'm not sick every day but mm -hmm. I you know I had to deal with a lot yes and there are doctors today that don't know what what Poland syndrome is right so you know it's it's important for me so anyway that's I'm gonna be doing that next week as well so you know the films and the wedding you know I just kind of like oh I'm doing some of that stuff too yeah Yay. you know it all comes together absolutely in, in different and varied ways and you absolutely. never know what kind of opportunities are gonna open up for you I know it's very exciting so uh, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Living Atlanta. This one is for Todd Garris, Kimberly Ann Kelly, Joe Garage, Garage. And thanks for liking my Just Steph page. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in a minute. All right, kids. Let's see. Yeah. Hi, Kathy Carey. Hi, Bobby. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Trisha. Trisha, Trisha Doty says, hey, Steph and Vanessa. Hi, Trish. She's so nice. She, she is, is so nice. sweet. She's, I the, love she's the nicest. She is. I've known her for years. Oh, she's so sweet. Yes. What a nice lady. Yeah, well, you should come to uh, the Concourse Athletic Club, and I bartended there for like six years. Oh. And did a lot of their social events. Nice. Yeah, DJ. They've got a lot of stuff going on over there. Yeah, well, you know, Johnny Esposito used to be there. <laughs> And he used to manage the restaurant there, so mm. small, small, small worlds that go on. Funny. You know? That's how I ended up at the Landmark Diner um, for a brief
brief time period of time working for his dad. Uh, and when he was uh, trying to start his beach and shag party up there for a little while. That was back in 2009, uh, like the summer of 2009. I always tell people this, you know, as big as this community is, it's, it's very really small. small. <laughs> exactly. You Just get know. on a dating website mm. and try and find a date that somebody else hasn't gone out with that's half decent. Oh. It's awful. Uh, you know, I tried a few dating websites way back, and um, I think I actually went on, like, one live date, and he didn't look anything like his picture. Nice <laughs> enough guy and all. But I was kind of sitting there going, wow, you know, I really put a lot of time into this, and... <sighs> Like, uh, I just don't think this is for me. I'm way better. I like to meet people in person uh, kind of thing. But I do know some people that have wonderful and successful relationships that have Absolutely. met online. And I, I think it can work both ways because, you know, you can you can have the people that present themselves well even when they meet you in person, but they're not that great. Right. Uh, but, you know, you have people that can present themselves well on the Internet and they're not great. Or you have people that present themselves well and they are that great. I love your uh, your descriptions here at People because I'm like, I'm the perfect woman. <laughs> this is all me. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I agree. Things. You know what? I thought that too. The one thing is, I, I, I was trying to figure out which one is not me. And one of them would be, you know, I'm not really a fighter. I don't fight. Me neither. So I won't fight. I'm a discusser. But I will, but I'm very um, passionate. Mm. We get one minute. So I'm very passionate. Yeah. So when it comes to like, you know, a discussion that could be heated. Yeah. I'm very passionate, but I, and I, so I can't really be calm. That's like telling, you know, I don't know, how can you tell a Sicilian to calm down? No. Don't tell me to calm down. That's worse. It's going to make me mad. See, me and my boyfriend are both like part Cherokee, so we just do a lot of like breathing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it, but we really balance. We were sitting there talking about the other day. It's like when I get mad, he calms me down. When he gets mad, I calm him down. Right. Like, which That's is really perfect. nice. Yeah, we've never had. Yeah, I don't fight though. And people are like, you've never had a fight. You should fight. I'm like, we just talk. Yeah, that's the that's an adult. Yeah. Low. You talk it out. Yeah. You don't have to yell. Mm -mm. That's nuts. All right, we are back. And you wanted to know where to go this weekend. You've been waiting for Living Atlanta. Woo! All right, kids. So, you know, I know I say this every week and you're probably sick of it, but I don't care. Drink responsibly, drive responsibly, call designated driver, call Uber, call Lyft, call a cab, call a friend, leave your car at the valet, but do not safe drink and ride drive. Safe ride is still out there, too. Safe ride. Yes. What, whatever it you is. You get your car home, safe ride. They'll come pick you up. They bring an extra person. I that person it. drives your car home while they take your truck self home. I love it. See, mm -hmm. that's that's great. Yes. So if you go somewhere and you say, oh, I'm not going to drink, but that you end up drinking, you need, you need that. Yes. So that's important. So please, 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 please do not drink and drive. So you, okay, let's say, what are you doing again for Atlanta events this weekend? Oh, this weekend, Swim Across America. And okay, that's at Lake Lanier on that's Saturday. That's at Lake Lanier on Saturday morning starting. Uh, re uh, swimmer registration starts at 7 a.m. It goes till noon. I know, sporty people like early mornings. And uh, then I have a yes. wedding Saturday night, and then Sunday I'll be at G's Midtown from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. with their Sunday Funday karaoke. Yay! And that's near the corner of 10th and Piedmont, right. so it's 219 And I can tell you it's a fun crowd. It is a fun crowd. Food's good. It's great. Oh, yes. It's a great place. All right, I think I may go to um, Alive After 5 tonight in Roswell. Oh, how fun. I haven't, I haven't been in a while. In fact, I don't remember the last time I went. So I think I may go. I'm going to see if I can get my friend Paul to go with me. And, um, and then, you know, this weekend, uh, my kids are all coming in, Ooh. you know, for the football game. So Friday night, they're with me. Uh-huh. I got them. Yeah. So we got a baseball game, and then I'm going to corral my kids and, and, I don't know, squeeze them to death, mm -hmm. you know, and have them. And then uh, Saturday, Saturday, my kids are all going to the game, so I, I don't know when we're going to go out. I, I, I went, you know, I didn't plan yeah. on it, so I didn't know. I may go to JCT Kitchen. They haven't, um, well, we're going to talk about that. They haven't, like, an um, Oktoberfest or something. So it's it not be, October yet. I know. This is like bringing up Christmas directions before Halloween. I just want to do something. I want to do something a little different, but I'm. But the weather's supposed to be great too, so I may want to lay out by the pool yeah. a little bit. Take and then Sunday, Sunday's football, so I, I may go to Huey Louie's. 
you know, mm. uh, for with Kenny's crew. So that's fun. You know, but anyway, so, you know, Deb Bowman is uh, always Tuesdays at the Regent Cocktail Club, and she's with Jacob Deaton on guitar, and she performs from, I believe it's from 6 to 9. And then Fridays, she's at uh, Bread and Butterfly, and she's doing that not every single week, but most every week in uh, September. So, and then... And then I have all your stuff, of course. And yep. Johnny Perrazzo is Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at Whiskey Mistress. Whiskey Mistress was super fun last Saturday night, so it's really a good time. And go see all my favorite bartenders. There's uh, Jeff Lee and Danny Donovan and Frank's there. And and I love Danny. Yeah, all great, great peeps. And we're really. Danny, Becca East Andrews. Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fun. They're opening a new restaurant in East Andrews. I thought they closed the whole place down. I thought they did, too. It's going to be an Italian restaurant. I just read about it. Huh. I forget the name of it, but it's like cap. It's it's bar Italiano or something like that. It's it's gonna be you know. And I read the menu. The menu looks good. I said okay, we'll see. Yeah. And I'm Italian, so you know I'll check it out. But you know it. it I thought that they were closing the place down. But anyway, so and Ed, there's music every night at Dixie Tavern, City Winery, Vankman's on Tuesday is Joe Granson's Free Jazz Jam, and mm. Wednesday night they have trivia, but they have music every night, and Smith's Old Bar always has music. Oh, yes. Super fun. Uh, so tonight is uh, the, it's a live in Roswell, live after five in historic Roswell, and also there's something going on in Avalon called Single in the City, and it's hosted by my dear friend Dr. Ken ah. Anderson, Anderson at Aesthetics. And they're doing. Uh, they're going to be mingling and talking and talking about being single and and all, single in the city and all of that and dating and and whatever. That's from six thirty to eight thirty, and that's at Avalon. And of course, at Three Sheets, they're doing their. They're continuing through September at the, the, from five to nine. That's sparkling September. They they match up bubbles with you know little small plates. And Friday uh, from eight to eleven. This is now. This is for my friend Kenny Kenny Minette at Huey Louie's. In Sandy Springs, it's their first birthday party, and the Mike Veal Band is going to be there. Oh. And it's with Kenny's Kickoff Crew, and it's 8 to 11. From 9.30 to midnight, Moby Dick is at Wild Wings. And at 10 p.m., the departure of the Journey Cover Band is at 37 Main in Beaufort. I know all of those bands. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Um, Saturday is, of course, Cardio Blasted Body Design Personal Training, and it's a free 45-minute fat-burning workout um, at 10 a.m., uh, Sandy Springs Festival is at 9 a.m. And there's a fifth anniversary party at Pure Tecaria in Roswell. And this was one of those things I was thinking about going to. And that's from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So that's all day long, drinking and football. Uh, from 4 to 7 is Oktoberfest at JCT Bar. And that's 20, $28. And they have, like, food and you get drink tickets and stuff like that. Yeah. So lots of fun. Now, at night, the soul of Sting is at Bankman's at 10 p.m. So that sounds like fun. Now, Sunday is from 12 to 6 is Huey Louis and it's uh, Kenny's kickoff crew watching the Falcons versus the Lions. Uh, from 12 to 3, it's a jazz and blues brunch at City Winery. Ooh. That sounds like a lot of fun. And from 2 to 5 is Women in Shoes. Uh, it's a tw uh, 2017 benefiting women's cancer programs at Northside Hospital. And that is at the Grand Hyatt in Buckhead from 2 to 5. And it's a great cause. Sunday night is Cold Draft Beer at Johnny's Hideaway. Mm. And uh, Tuesday night, Artisan Plastic Surgery is hope, um, hosting their open house um, from 5 to 9. And you can call 404-851-1998 to, uh, to um, RSVP. And Tuesday nights at Hammocks in Sandy Spring is Lobster Night. Wednesday night is uh, Martini Night at Hammocks. So that's it. I'm intrigued by the plastic surgery open house. Yes, just because like, how, hmm. well, they'll do. They have aesthetics in there and all of oh, that. They it. have a, lots of stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they'll be and uh, they'll do a great job. And they're, they're they're beautiful people. They are all so nice, so nice. All right, so I have a big shout out to my Boston birthdays, um, Melinda Wilson Ryder, uh, Matthew Boyle. Hey, Maddie Boyle and Amy Havy Sagacy. Happy birthday, guys! Next week I have author Ricky Schultz. She's going to be on with me. She wrote Mr. Right Swipe. <laughs> so I have to finish that book, but it's pretty good. Is that one of the app things where you like? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And on, not Tinder. On <laughs> October 5th, I have Jill Granson's going to be in here from the Jazz Jam, with my, our jazz guy. So check me out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I'm on Pinterest. Mm. I'm there. I'm all over the place. Right, Sky? All right. So will you come back? I will still come back. Yay! Yes. All right. No, I love you all. Wishing you love, balance, and peace. Ciao, ciao, baby. Love you. Woo! All right.
right, kids. Yay. All right, let me, uh, it's funny, whenever I have guests on, they're always like, oh, wow, it's going to be forever. And I'm just like, you know what? Hey, ahead. Steve. Oh, Trisha said, see you Friday. Yay. Yay. Who else? Hi, Ian. Hey, Kenny. I have to take my earrings out because when you're wearing headphones, they go clink, clink, clink. You got to take them out. Yeah. All right, kids. We're going to say goodbye. Love Bye. you. Bye.